Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about QZ modifier. Okay, so QZ modifier is also a modifier which is used along with the CPT anesthesia codes. So before starting, we have to understand the proper definition of this QZ modifier. The definition is it indicates that the CRNA is providing anesthesia service without medical direction by a physician that is a keyword here here the crna is administering anesthesia without medical direction by a physician second thing you have to understand what is the purpose of this qz modifier qz modifier is used to specify that the crna is independently providing anesthesia service this ensures that the billing and reimbursement accurately reflects the service provided without physician oversight and next you have to understand the difference bit, uh, from other modifiers like QX, QI and QK. QX is when CRNA administer anesthesia without uh, with medical direction by a physician. QI is medical direction of one CRNA by anesthesiologist. And QK is indicate medical direction of two to four concurrent anesthesia procedure by a physician. And hereby I have given uh, examples for uh, QZ modifier. The first example is for anesthesia for knee surgery understand the procedure understand the question carefully and assign the proper cpt code and since it is given like an crna is providing anesthesia independently you are giving c uh, qz modifier along with the cpt code and second question is for anesthesia for cesarean section same here also it is given like anesthesia is administered independently by crna so give the proper cpt code and along with that add qz modifier and third example is for hip replacement surgery here also it is given like anesthesia is given by the crna independently so assign the proper cpt code correctly and uh, give the qz modifier along with the cpt code and uh, what are the common mistakes which should be avoided as well as the tips for using this is also added here so you have to uh, read everything very carefully and understand why we are giving this uh, modify, uh, modifier here and why it is different from other modifiers. Those things should be very carefully clarified and uh, verify the questions uh, very carefully and read it and understand it and uh, think twice before assigning the modifiers because you should not go wrong. That's all about this QZ modifier. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and share it with your friends. If you have any doubts, put it as a comment. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.